No one was prepared for the COVID-19 outbreak that hit Namibia in March 2020. Lives were lost while most businesses could not operate during the pandemic and subsequently closed down. With things slowly getting back to normal, business owners and vendors say they have since learned important lessons. You cannot just not depend on one business because we were depending only on, on one thing. So when COVID came, it hit. So now we have learned that at least somewhere, somehow, we should have something aside that will at least carry you through when, uh, when COVID come back or anything. It cannot be COVID, but it may be something else that may come and affect us also negatively. But at least when you have something that you know that I will lean on this one while the storm is going to pass by, at least it can carry you through something. We have learned to help our families and the neighbors. You check on your neighbor and find out whether they drank water and see if they have food. If not, you should assist. I sell kapana and what I have left, I give the neighbor. And if they don't have maize meal, you give so they eat and feed the school-going children. We need to save up something just in case COVID come again. We have something to help ourselves because we know there is no business and there is no money. We have learned that it is better to buy stock from the farm and not from the stores where they will charge you $27 for a small pack. Businesses in Oshuarongo still continue to feel the aftermath of the pandemic as the struggles to reach targets continues to date. If you compare targets of 2019, 2018 to 2020 and 2021 and as well as 2022, you get those days whereby you cannot even beat a target of 2019. So customers are not yet there because hence everybody has been affected and people have been uh, uh, retrenched. Even our company, we also had retrenched in 2020, uh, more or less uh, 30-something, 30 34 employees, which also has happened this year due to the low customers that are coming to the shops. We are still striving. We will reach our goal through uh, all types of marketing concepts that we will use, any type of, of um, sales that we're still going to have, and that is now that coming to the price wise, whether the price will go down to have certain promotion running so that the business can still pick up where we lost. With an increase in unemployment and economic hardships, those in the transport sector are making little profit as customers negotiate to pay less transport fare. Evelyn Poles, NBC News, Oshuarongo.